808 now. Docked in Muskegon Lake, a piece of history called the SS Milwaukee Clipper. The preserved steamship shut down in 1970, but it still has a captain at its helm. Believe it or not, that captain is 99 years young, and he still visits his beloved boat just about every day. So the captain of the Clipper shared with me a thing or two about life and the milestone he's about to celebrate. Captain Bob Prefer is rarely late. I got quarter to 11. We sat down to talk right at 11, but before that, he found something to fix. 24 hours, seven days a week. When well, you're captain, you're on watch all the time. See these flags? The captain just hung them. It's just good genes, I guess. <laughs> but he just comes down to the ship. He, I mean, he's, he has more energy than me sometimes. I'll see him working up towards the bow, and I'm here I am out of breath. I'm doing a tour, and he's just ready to walk around the ship again. I don't know how he does it, but he does. Brock Johnson is the captain's apprentice, if you will. The ship's next generation. All of us are getting a little bit more uh, 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 tender, or I don't want to say age. But not before Captain Bob shares with Brock what he calls some old fish tales. And we always had fresh flowers at, at the desk there. Just walking through the rooms, he has his memories of what used to happen on board the ship, and we're just happy that he can, you know, that he has those memories. And one day, I hope to have those memories as well. The World War II veteran started on the clipper right after the war. These are the original speakers to the ship. The luxury vessel at the time, the equivalent of flying first class. Back in the 40s, to go from uh, Milwaukee to Muskegon, it was like uh, today's uh, taking a cruise to Hawaii. This is where the captain steered the ship. We were the first commercial vessel to uh, get radar. And where he stayed. I was only captain because I had a wonderful crew. And in many of these rooms, forged family memories. My granddaughters, I married them aboard the ship. My granddaughters, and now I got a great granddaughter. She was down here the other day. The almost centenarian still somehow has a to-do list aboard. I still would like to do a lot of things on the ship, but uh, the mind is willing, but the body is weak. But his crew thinks birthday celebrations are in order first. 8 8 uh, Next month I'll be 100. You know. I never thought of it as that. It's just another day. I'm looking for a I'm looking for 110. I might as well shoot for the Nobody in the family ever lived to be 100. Out of all the folks who've come and gone, for the longest time, Captain Bob's been at home on the Clipper. I asked him to sum up the days, the hours, the months worth of trips on the Big Lake and beyond, and he couldn't quite calculate. But he did tell me this. That doesn't make any difference how many days, it's how much you accomplish. What you did, is, is, uh, that's the main thing. We've done pretty well, I think. Now, as mentioned, the captain turns 100 on August the 8th, but his party is August the 6th at 6 o'clock. It is free to attend. Everyone is welcome to come say hi to the captain. As we mentioned, the SS Milwaukee is docked in Muskegon Lake, and the party, of course, will be on his beloved ship. And to mention, actually, there's a party for him tonight at Berlin Sprig in Muskegon as well. So lots of celebrating to be done for our dear captain. As you should <laughs> when you turn 100. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let that party go on and on. And we are mentioning a lot to be learned from that generation that are that we need to remember. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Tessa, for sharing that with us.